Welcome to On Deck with Mike Stewart. On this episode of On Deck, we're going to be discussing the 125-foot Hargrave Tri-Deck Motor Yacht, Team Galati. That's right. Team Galati is the mothership yacht for the Team Galati professional billfish sport fishing uh, team. I used to work for Team Galati. I was a relief captain, first officer on the mothership. The program that they have going on is they have a mothership, a, a, a base offshore that they can use for lodging and food and relaxing, showers, eating, all that good stuff. And then uh, they have their uh, sport fishes, uh, floating by around it uh, that they use to go fishing. So that way it keeps them from sometimes having to trek up to 100 miles back in from their uh, fishing grounds, back to the dock, back to the marina. They did fuel bunkering uh, so they can go out there, they can stay out there for days on end and fish and stay out offshore. When the sun comes up, they're already there. So it saves them a little bit of time I'm going to share with you um, some pretty cool uh, photos and images um, that I took uh, while I was aboard the uh, Team Galati mothership and the, uh, specifically what's involved in the 125 foot Hargrave. You know, viewed from the outside, the new Hargrave 125 uh, would definitely draw a second look. Uh, it's got a raised pilot house design, size range dominated by tri-deck vessels. Her profile, while balanced and pleasing to the eye, is a bit different. Uh, it's got the long, low, uh, hard grave, low wraparound windows. Gives it kind of that sophisticated, uh, somewhat European flair. But it's not until you step inside. When you, get, when you step on deck, you realize how different that yacht really is. Uh, it's really developed into a new niche as according to Mike Joyce, the chairman and CEO of Hardgrave Custom Yachts. It's big, and it's elegant, and it's open, wide open. Got a lot more space than what you think. So it definitely has that wow factor going for it. The main salon, your headroom, you got like six and a half feet of headroom. Uh, 25 foot beam. Looking out the windows, you can really see uh, there's lots of windows on both sides, port and starboard. Uh, they give you a really nice view of the marina and uh, the ocean outside. The long vistas are accented by polished walnut, artistic etched glass, marble with stainless steel inlays. It's pretty fancy. The overall interior of the yacht is just stunning. Uh, it's just got a lot of contemporary design, uh, you know, a really good blend of form and function. It's built for long range cruising. You got everything from a spa on the flybridge, so it's got a hot tub spa up on the flybridge right aft of the uh, bar lounge eating area. So it's got a bar, got a lounge area, uh, eating area, uh, coolers, uh, there's uh, additional storage and freezers and coolers up there. Uh, you got the spa, really nice, sit up there, music, lights, everything. Got a nice look out over the marina or over the water. It's pretty sweet. Been in there many a times. Ain't gonna lie, I loved it. Up on the flybridge, it also has a 132 bottle wine cellar. Got like three refrigerators, uh, ice making uh, machine, ice makers. It is really built for a long range cruising. It holds like 8,000 gallons of fuel. So that's gotta be enough. Uh, you know, you're cruising, you know, you're not speeding obviously, but going at eight knots, you can go 4,000 miles. You wanna make sure you've got stabilizers, some seat keepers on there, you know what I mean? Stabilizers. You gotta have stabilizers. You're gonna get out there and you're gonna make it a kind of trip. I don't care if it's going from um, Tampa to Orange Beach or someplace, you know. You better have some stabilizers. In case you happen to be out there offshore and things get a little hairy, you're gonna want sea keepers on board. Stabilizers. Second most important thing next to the engines, in my opinion. The new owners shouldn't have any trouble recruiting crew for the Hard Grave 125 raised pod house mega yacht. I wouldn't call a 125 foot yacht a mega yacht. Not quite yet. You want to be in the super yacht category? Boom. 250 up. 
through 75, 300. Now we're talking. The crew quarters for the like, deckhands, uh, uh, engineers, they're nice. They could be a little bit bigger, but they're uh, appointed pretty nicely. Now the captain's quarters, they could take a little bit away from the captain's quarters and give it to the crew, but the captain's quarters, quite nice. Very well appointed, as you will see. We have, they have there's a lounge. They got three cabins. They all have in-suite heads. The yacht sleeps eight guests, five crew. It definitely was built with an eye towards chartering. I can definitely attest to that fact. It would make an excellent charter boat. It's right there in my mind, in my opinion, in that rightly, the, the perfect niche where it's just big enough to be on a, but not too big to where you're spending $400,000 a week. It did fit inside uh, Marina Jack. We were probably the biggest uh, yacht in there. It does have four luxurious staterooms, all with king-size beds and sweet heads with showers. Of course, the master ha is a bit bigger than the others. The master cabin for the owner is definitely superbly laid out. The in suite head, two doors. It's got like a his and hers, two heads, one big shower in the middle, access from both sides. It's pretty cool. Four staterooms and 125 footer is at least one fewer than the norm, which means that they're all a bit larger. And the quarters for the crew are way beyond the norm for a yacht this size. I don't know how many yachts they've been on, but the ones that I've been on, uh, the crew quarters are slightly larger. So the lounge is pretty nice, uh, built in flat screen TV. It's not really set up for any sort of crew galley type meals. The entrance to the salon from the covered aft deck, which is seven feet, 10 inches of headroom. First, you step across 60 square feet of beautiful cream marble flooring. And then you look up and you're gonna see a long row of low picture windows marching down each side of the yacht, taking your eye forward while opening up the salon to light and warmth. Every window is a picture window, but from the outside, it still looks sleek. Hmm. Two low, plush, 10 foot long sofas flanking the sides also lead to forward, also lead you forward, all the way past the center cabinet with a built-in television and a panel of art glass to the dining area, you know, to kind of make a separation, and finally to the matching etched glass privacy doors to port and starboard that lead to the galley. I guess the object here was to kind of create a contemporary interior with clean, sophisticated lines and enduring appeal. So her design contrasts glossy walnut with espresso and top zebra veneer accent, sculptured glass and oyster marble. Ah, the galley, it's a combination of working space, social area, a floating version of your kitchen at home. You're gonna have to have these custom uh, uh, material covers to put over the windows that keep the freaking sun out because it'll heat that place up to make it impossible to live as a living space. You won't want to sit in there to eat. You won't want to be in there cooking. It warms up like a damn microwave if you don't have the covers for those windows to keep the sun out. It's got a center island, bar stools, uh, informal dining table, eight person settee. Uh, it, the galley is an inviting place for, to relax, you know, over espresso or breakfast snacks and cocktails. There's a small fridge on this level so like you go down the stairs and then there's like a foyer and uh, there's a little fridge down there so you can have champagne, uh, beers, you know, chilled items, chilled water so the guests don't have to go all the way up to the galley. They can just pop out of their uh, uh, suite, out of their bedroom and grab a cold bottle of Dom Perignon and jump back in the bed. Another thing I'll say, the storage, there's plenty of storage. So it, uh, certainly for a private vessel, but if you want to make it a charter boat, a charter yacht, there's ample storage underneath uh, the beds, uh, the floor, uh, in the uh, in the uh, master uh, and guest rooms. So lots of storage. Mm -hmm.